we each have a limited number of eggs and with every year we lose those eggs. So in our 30s we still have a good number of eggs in our ovaries as women. In our 40s we have less and any given egg has its own particular chance of getting pregnant. So when you ovulate one month um, in your 30s you might have a 10 or 15 or 20 percent chance of getting pregnant. In your 40s that's much lower, that could be 5 percent or less per month of getting pregnant. And in fact even when we retrieve eggs, when we actually go to the highest tech treatments that we have available such as in vitro fertilization and we take eggs um, and look at them and try to fertilize them and, and put them back, the chance of um, an egg leading to a pregnancy in a woman in her 20s or 30s is much higher, four or five times higher than the chance of that same egg in a woman who's 40 um, to get pregnant. Much of the reason is that the eggs as they sit in our bodies over time become damaged. Um, the, each egg has half the chromosomes that the, the baby has, 23 chromosomes, the other half comes from the sperm. As a woman ages, the chromosomes in her eggs become damaged and many times when the egg and sperm meet, they don't have the correct number of chromosomes and so many times that leads to lack of pregnancy or miscarriage and women in their 40s, not only do they have a harder time getting pregnant, but when they do get pregnant, there's a much higher miscarriage rate. So for example, while the chance of having a miscarriage for any woman is between 15 and 20 percent, if a woman at age 45 is successful at getting pregnant with her own eggs, she has a 75 percent chance of miscarrying that pregnancy. So three out of every four women that have already made it through the hurdle of getting pregnant at age 45 will not carry that pregnancy to term because of the, most likely because the chromosomes are abnormal and that baby can't develop, that embryo is abnormal. So women face really a double whammy, two challenges, less eggs, less chance that those eggs will implant, and then finally, once they finally get through that hurdle and do conceive, higher miscarriage rate. That's not the case for women using donor eggs. Um, those uh, women will be expected to have miscarriage rates in the range of uh, the age of the donor that they use, so 15% or so, much lower risk of that.